Faith, you have been angry at me for days. I'm not. Do you somehow blame me for what happened for your no. daddy's death? Do you think that this is my fault? I'm not stupid. Honey, I know you're not. But this is something that's very difficult to understand. I understand it. Then why are you so angry at me? Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. Faith. I don't want to be here. What was all that about? I don't know. She's been weird all day. I just figured the whole thing was starting to get to her. No, it's been going on longer than that. I'll go find her. We should go back inside. I don't know what to do with her. She'll be fine. Don't worry. We ask you to receive Holden Snyder into your presence. Let us pray. Faith? Leave me alone. What's going on? Just leave. No. I don't think so. Faith, I'm not leaving until you tell me what's going on. Why do you even care? I don't know. I just do. Why are you so mad at your mom? All that garbage about their perfect marriage? Okay, it's all a lie. She cheated on him. How do you know that? Because I saw her. Okay, I saw her. What's bothering Faith? I don't know. She wouldn't say. Her emotions, they're all over the place. I know her father died, but... It's, it's more than that. Yeah. She's angry at me. About what? I don't know. She hasn't said anything to you? No, uh, she wouldn't tell me. I, I tried to ask her, but she totally shut me out. You know, everyone grieves in their own way. Give her time. I agree. It, it wouldn't be wise to push her today. I didn't get anywhere anyway. I, I, I really need to get out of here. Give me a minute. I'll be right outside. So sorry, Emma. Thank you, thank you, Damien. Do you think it would be possible to speak to Mac for a moment? Well, that's up to her. Excuse me. How are you? Oh, I just want it to be over. There's going to be a lot of people at the farm. Oh, I know. Are you going to be there? Of course. If you want me to. You know I do. I'll see you soon. see me but she always talks about my dad and how he was the love of her life and she cheated on him and then he went and drove off that cliff and died you need to tell her i can't tell her ever promise me you won't tell her either <laughs> of course i won't okay come on we need to get you to the farm let's go no way listen faith if you keep on acting all angry and weird your mom's gonna know that something's wrong and if she's anything like my mom, she'll keep bugging you until she finds out what it is. I know. Okay, so you're just gonna go to the farm, and you're gonna act like everything's cool. Will you come with me? Sure. It's a big girl. I know. Should be fine. How about a glass of wine, huh? It'll do you good. All right, glass of wine. 
Wow, look at that. That is just what I need. Thank you so much. Why don't you come with me? There is someone you need to meet. Faith, what happened? Don't make me talk about it, okay? Okay, well, let's go inside. Faith, I was so worried about you. I'm fine. Just really tired. Can I go home? By yourself? Yeah, I just fully down. All right, sure you can. I'll see you later. Hey, hey. Are you all right, honey? Everybody stop asking me that. Well, it just, it was a little tense in there with your mom, and I was just wondering if there was anything I could do to help. No, I'm fine. What, what, what um, what's this all about? How am I supposed to know? Well, you did this, didn't you? What if I did? Just want to know why. You figure it out. My brother wasn't a very fancy guy, and he certainly didn't have a lot of use for fancy stuff. He started out a simple farm boy, and even though he accomplished a lot in his life, part of him never changed. Well, he sure never stopped drinking beer. He wasn't an ordinary guy, though. He was one in a million. Hold. 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 My mom said I could leave. Do you mind taking me home? Yeah, sure. See you later. Maybe you were wrong about what was going on with your mom and Damien. I know what I saw. I'm just saying that one thing can look like another. Look, Parker, I don't make stuff up and I don't get it wrong. When I think something bad is happening, it's because something bad is happening. Yeah, you're probably right. Exhausted. We should get some rest. Do you have any idea what's bothering Faith? No. Any reason I should? I don't know. Obviously, she's devastated about Holden, but there's something else. Something between her and her mother. I just wish I knew what it was. I don't know. These services are supposed to bring you peace of mind, right? Among other things. I just feel like my whole world is inside my head. It'll take time. I'll never get over losing Holden. But you will learn to live with it. Thanks for worrying about me, Mother. <laughs> I'll see you at home. Mm -hmm. She wants to be alone. Well, she shouldn't be alone. Yeah. Yes, she should be. She wants to say goodbye to her husband in her own way. Holden, are you here? I need to talk to you about Faith. She needs you. And so does Ethan and Natalie and even Luke. I know he's an adult, but there's still so much that you could teach him. I know you weren't in that coffin today at the church. I know you're not resting in peace. That's why your ring showed up. Because you're not really gone. You're coming back. You're coming home. And we're going to be together again. Am I right, Holden? You're coming home to me, aren't you? Please answer me. Tell me you're coming back. Is it you?